Welcome to the SPX Options Trading Series by AlphaCrunching.com. Now let's get into the video. What is time series analysis? In this quick, short module, I'm doing a condensed version of time series analysis for the purposes of what we're going to be doing. So I don't, I'm not going to go down the rabbit hole of everything uh, time series analysis. There's books written on this uh, subject but we're gonna be using uh, certain parts of it for trading short-term weekly options, mainly zero to four DTE. I do a lot of credit spreads, but you could also uh, sell naked options or condors and those type of things as well. But in general, time series analysis is a specific way of analyzing a sequence of data points collected over an interval of time. For trading purposes, we're gonna be looking at the close price of SPX at five minute intervals, just the price, not the options, just the actual price of the index itself. And what sets time series data apart from other data is that the analysis can show how variables change over time. In other words, time is a crucial variable because it shows how the data adjusts over the course of the data points. And you think about a chart, and we all often look at five minute charts, daily charts. We're already in the, the mindset of looking at intervals of time and making judgments off that. And this is a little bit different variations. And when you analyze data over consistent intervals, we can also use time series forecasting to predict the likelihood of future events. Time series forecasting is part of predictive analytics. It can show likely changes in the data, like seasonality or cyclic behavior, which provides a better understanding of data variables and helps us forecast better. That's ultimately what we're trying to do. And for our purposes, the time series analysis or forecasting we're gonna be exploring for trading will involve the seasonality effect of the data. Now, I personally don't like to use the term seasonality for what we're gonna be working on uh, here at alphacrunching.com because it invokes the idea of seasons, which usually span a year or more. And again, we're just gonna be looking at five minute intervals over the last several weeks. So to learn more about time series analysis, I'm gonna put a great link in the description of this video on YouTube so you can explore some more. But this is the quick and dirty version that we're gonna be using for or trading SPX weekly options with zero to four days to expiration. See you in the next video.